Okay, so at the heart of the reading is the Page of Cups, which is definitely an offer. Crossing it is the High Priestess, and it's one of those things the High Priestess understands human natures very well. She is kind of like on either side of the veil. She understands human motives, she understands people's intentions, and she has an innate understanding of what works, what's good for her, and what she should leave behind. So this is an energy that is coming through in this situation, and it's telling you that you really have to assess this offer in an objective light. Know that if it's a person from your past and you've had a history with them, you have to really question their motives, understand why they're coming back in at this point in time, and how they've changed, and how the relationship is going to uh, pan out in the future, whether or not they have changed. You have a lot of court cards and they're reversed. So you want to be very, very cautious about how you proceed with this, okay? In terms of your past position, we have the Knight of Cups in the reverse position. So a lot of you might be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that might have tried to somehow come back into your life or cycle back through into your life with a, an offer of um, a relationship or some type of an offer where you feel that you don't really trust them 100%. And you are actually right. So be very careful about how you want to proceed with this. For those of you uh, where it's like a work situation, for example, um, you're leaving a job and you tell them, you know, here's my two weeks notice and they're giving you like a counter offer in order to get you to stay. I mean, you can stay there if it's the offer is above and beyond what you've anticipated, or you can just leave the place and find a new job for yourself. I would advise if it's a job offer, go back to it and build something from it because I do feel they are going to match whatever, you know, you're hoping for. So there's definitely some salary negotiations coming through in the works for you and it, it looks fruitful if it's a job environment. If it's a love situation, just be a little bit careful because you might not If it's a love situation and you want reconciliation, you want answers, you're definitely going to have to If you only if you want answers, then go back to it and try to flush out some answers that you're looking for. If the relationship has ended, if the other person was like constantly in and out of your life, then you might need to extract some answers from them so that you can get the closure to move forward. Sometimes like towards the end of a relationship, one of the things that makes it really difficult for you to move on is because you don't have the answers. So closure will allow your heart to heal and it will allow you the opportunity to move on. If you've been chasing somebody and they're like in and out of your life and you really want to know if, if they see long-term potential prospects with you, you definitely deserve an opportunity to get the answers that you need so that you can decide what you want to do, okay? I definitely feel some answers are going to be coming through. A lot of clarity coming through here with the moon in the reverse position and a lot of truthful energy where people are like upfront about their motives, their intentions. There might be a situation where it's like back and forth compromise or a back and forth like... um a little bit of a bickering competitive energy that will allow you to get the answers or flush out some of the the themes or the just to get closure on a lot of the things that might have weighed heavily on your mind that didn't help you move forward okay so a lot of clarity is definitely coming through for those of you who are in stable relationships i do feel this is the month in which you can solidify and take the relationship to the next level. So I do feel stability and I do feel expansion in terms of stable relationships, okay? Um, as for what's in your environment that you're not aware of, we do have the justice card in the reverse position. Now, if you have been constantly chasing somebody around for answers or you've been catering to the whims of another person and you're kind of like... Um, following them and trying to give them an offer and they're very very non-committal um and you feel this that they've been you know non-committal you've been chasing them around if that is the case i definitely feel that the balance like the karmic scale 
is being balanced this month where you're going to get more of a commitment from them or the at least the relationship or the courtship is going to escalate to a, another level and things are starting to stabilize okay a lot of answers are coming through for you so you have a second chance at a do-over if it is one of those relationships where you're starting to see them turning a new leaf and they're reciprocating in the way that they haven't in the past okay and I'm saying this uh, specifically if it is a fire sign so Aries Sagittarius Leo if it's a fire sign that you've been you know darting back and forth with and and it's mainly you putting in a lot of the work in the past that can work out if it's a water sign I would advise against it mainly because it seems to me as if the water sign is um, not yet ready for a commitment and it seems to me the fire sign might be a new person. The water sign might be somebody from the past for like the past six months. And that is, um, it's the end of a cycle already. Okay. So the fire sign, it can work out. Fire sign, sun, moon, rising. And that's something that you might want to revisit. Because I do feel that um, at this point they are ready. And they're realizing the imbalances in the past. And the emotional hardship, the mo emotional roller coaster that they've um, they put you through. So they're coming in and they're pretty repentant. So that can work out. As for the water sign from the past, I would advise you to let it go. Okay. Um, in terms of what's your hopes and fears here, we do have the page of wands. So th this is definitely getting good news, communication coming through from another person. And it's definitely going to happen for you. But I do feel that the communications itself indicates a lot of truths being revealed, a lot of revelation as to why people were were so non-committal or why things were so unstable and erratic in the past the moon card in the reverse position indicates to me that sense of self-knowing where we know there's more more information that we need or we know that there's more to the story but in the past you might have experienced this and for this month everything is coming to the light so a lot of truths being revealed, a lot of revelations, a lot of clarity coming through. So you're walking through that fog and you're coming into the light, okay? It's kind of like the sun came through and the fog lifted. And I do feel a lot of you, this information pertains to a fire sign who is now ready to have a serious conversation, a serious discussion with you. Uh, fire signs have been dating all kinds of signs in the past, so they've been bouncing around with multiple partners. This is something I've noticed across the board. So I do feel that this, you know, it, it all happened during the Mercury and the Venus retrograde period. And the Venus retrograde was oscillating between, you know, an Earth sign and, and Leo, so Virgo and Leo. And all of that energy was basically, it calmed down. So fire signs are now they know what they want and when they're coming back around if you're dealing with a fire sign they're going to provide some answers okay so whatever answers you've been seeking you're going to be able to get it and i do feel that you're going to get the satisfaction that you need whether or not you want to stay or whether or not you want to move forward without them in your life either way you're going to get the clarity that you want However, I do feel here with the outcome as the Eight of Coins, the Eight of Coins is working very, very diligently and, um, you know, mastering your craft. And it's also um, maintaining, maintaining your focus, okay? So if somebody is coming in and you feel very emotionally charged, make sure you get the answers that you need because it's sort of like this. These are the two additional outcomes here. Be systematic about finding out what it is that you need and ask those really important questions. Don't be so enamored and that you end up following them again without getting the closure that you need or without give, getting like anything concrete from them. You might be in danger of just feeling very enamored and feeling very carefree and feeling as if, wow, this person is back. So, you know, they must really want to be with me. No, 
get the answers that you need so that you can figure things out from your end whether or not this is worth pursuing okay so this is actually the first time I've read for um, Taurus where the energy feels to me a little that it's a little bit scattered okay so I feel as if a lot of you are like swept off your feet when it comes to new romance that's coming through don't get yourself in that you know it's, it's nice to feel like swept off your feet but because you're showing up in the outcome position in the reverse position I do feel that you might be starting it too soon or you might be rushing in into it too soon and that's very unlike you so Taurus take some time and really dig flush out those answers from the other person demand it of them if you need to and but you know overall slow down slow down all right and I've, I've never had to tell us Taurus to slow down you're an earth sign so you are naturally very methodical and systematic when you do things but I do feel just for the next two weeks um, don't be too hasty when it comes to spending as well we are de-escalating from a three to a page and which is not a bad thing but you really want to be sure about where your investment opportunities if they are ground if they're solid before you invest so don't trust somebody's words at face value do some research if you're thinking about investment opportunities and don't be too quickly captivated by somebody who might not have enough substance so you really have to fish out those answers that you need so that you can gauge somebody objectively okay this is the whole process of trusting your intuition here we have the high priestess crossing this entire reading trust the the history that you have with someone know if it has been stable if it has made you happy if you are still content in the relationship and figure out figure out, separate facts from fiction and don't follow the wrong trail okay that's the advice here